Our next speaker, our penultimate speaker, has a huge variety of interests from the extreme physical diving and, and fitness challenges all the way through to the more contemplative reading, studying, writing. His particular passion is the Middle East and his likes, he said, three things. He likes drinking good wine, he likes good company and he likes pleasant conversation and, and he can hold his own in all three categories. He would like... His ambition, he says, that his life remains interesting and challenging. Will you please help me welcome to the front, James Milton. <laughs> Mr. Chairman, ladies and gentlemen, I'm a great lover of the dramatic pause. However, having had a four minute one before I actually had to speak, I may well cut down on that. I'm a bit, of a, a bit of a pedant when it comes to words. So I had to look up where we get tough times don't last, tough people do. Now when I first read that, I thought to myself, hey, it's a chap from Brooklyn, 1920s prohibition, you know, tough times don't last, tough people do. And he's probably killed a load of guys and stuck them in concrete and put them under a bridge. No. It's the Reverend Shula. So it's more like, tough times don't last. <laughs> tough people do. Praise Jesus. Which for a free thinking Englishman like me means there's only one thing to think about it. It's codswallop. <laughs> it's snake oil. And here's the rub. So the Reverend Shula allegedly came from a tough background. But I still put it to you. The man was born and raised in the United States. Because the question I have to ask for you is when are the tough times going to finish for the people in the Democratic Republic of Congo? Where the average age of a soldier is 13. And life expectancy is in the mid-20s. When are the tough times going to end for the people of Iraq? who've experienced something in the region of 30 years of continuous warfare, whether it be an outside power or civil war. And when are the tough times going to end on the sink estates of the United Kingdom? When are the tough times going to end for these prisoners in jails? If being tough was all you needed for tough times to finish, then prisoners should be having it easy. So this is what I realized. As long as you only have tough people, you will continue to have tough times. As long as the only way you define your world is by who is the hardest, who can punch the hardest, how can I possibly survive this, you will end up with a bleak and vicious future. And I remember the first time this came to me, I was in Iraq itself. I was serving as a soldier there. I was in the middle of the desert. It was something called stag. It's sentry duty. And if you ever want to know what bleak is, just go and stand in the middle of this desert because there is nothing there. I was tens of miles from good company. I was a 1,000 miles from decent wine. It was absolutely the worst moment of my life. And it was three in the morning, and it was freezing cold. And I thought, what is the point of life if I'm living it like this? All these tough times, they don't seem to be finishing. And I don't think I'm helping the people here with the guns and the bombs and the occupying the streets with their tanks. I don't think I'm bringing them out of their tough times. What's going to help here? And then I had a vision. And it wasn't of home, it wasn't of hearth, it was actually of Francesca de Rimini, my favorite painting, beautiful. A young man about to kiss his lover. And I thought, that's it. It's beauty. Because beauty, in whatever form you find it, is what gives us hope that life will get better. You might see it when you look at your children, you might see it in the friendship that you experience, in a wonderful piece of literature. These are all the places you can find beauty. And I say to you now that it is the job of tough people 
to preserve that beauty so that when tough times do finish, we're not looking out on some bleak plain, some harsh, dystopian future, but instead the sort of place where we want to live, where we want our children to live. And for me, this was best summarized by the film The Pianist, about a young, brilliant Jewish player of music. And he survives all the way through the Second World War, through the ghettos, through the hell that is the Eastern Front. And he doesn't survive because he's tough. He survives because everybody around him wants him to, because every single time they hear him play, suddenly they're not in this dreadful place. Suddenly they're in a warm room filled with friends. There's a drink next to them. There's a beautiful stranger looking at them. They know that in the morning they will not have to pick up a rifle and either shoot somebody or face death themselves. So what I would say to you to conclude is that in tough times, be tough so you can preserve what makes life worth living. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen.